All right, so this lab um, has multiple parts, and the kind of this last part is over binomial nomenclature, uh, and also walking through a dichotomous key to identify different um, trees. And some of y'all been having some trouble with this, so let's kind of walk through kind of how to do this, and I'll give you a, an example of it. So the binomial nomenclature um, was developed by Carolus Linnaeus, and it's a two-part naming system that is the genus and species of the organism. Remember that when we talk about taxonomy and classifying organisms, um, you start with kind of the broad categories, and so the broadest category is the domain, and then you narrow it down to smaller and smaller categories till you get down to the species, which is kind of the smallest category. So the, um, the scientific name of an organism is the genus name and the species name. So Homo sapien is the scientific name for a human, uh, Homo is the genus, and sapien is the species. So you're going to use the dichotomous key that is in your lab manual, and it's on pages 8, 12, and 8, 13, um, to go through some different pictures of trees and identify them. So the first one is um, kind of kind of walks you through it so you can double check yourself. Um, but all of these pictures are of the same tree. You can see it um, kind of in the, the spring, in the fall. You can look at the bark. Uh, you can look at the, the leaves and the acorns. They've even got a ruler here so you can kind of measure them. Uh, you may come across terms that you don't know or you don't understand. Um, the best thing to do would be to look on page 815. Um, through 817 in your lab manual that shows you some pictures of some of these terms and kind of describes what they mean so that you can work through this key. So the first one um, it basically guides you through it and it even gives you the correct answer. So as you kind of um, toggle between 1A and 1B, it tells you if it's correct or incorrect. So in this first example, um, our first choice has to do with the leaves. So the leaves are broad and flat, and if the plant produces flowers and fruit, that would be 1A, which is correct for this one. Um, 1B would be that the leaves are needle-like, um, and the plants produce cones instead of fruit. So looking at these pictures, you can see these acorns, which these would be considered fruit, and the leaves are broad and flat. Um, they are not needle-like or scale-like. So if we're choosing between 1A and 1B, 1A is correct. And so when you look in your dichotomous key in your lab manual, um, under 1A, if you, have to, if you choose that, then you go to step 4 on the dichotomous key, which is on the next slide um, as you work through this. So uh, step 4 says um, your two choices are either that the leaves are alternately arranged on the main stem, or the leaves are oppositely arranged on the main stem. So I think the easiest way to look at this is actually down here because you've got a, a leaf attached to the stem and then you can see where there would be two other leaves uh, on the opposite side of the stem and these kind of alternate. They're not parallel, they alternate. So that would be 4A um, would be leaves are alternately arranged and so you proceed to item 8 on the dichotomous key which is on the next slide. Uh, the leaves are simple, would be 8A. Um, 8B would be that the leaves are compound, so a single leaf blade versus multiple leaflets. Um, in this example, we have a single leaf blade. We don't have multiple leaflets. So that would be um, 8A, so you'd proceed to item 17 on the dichotomous key. Uh, 17, your two choices are either the leaves are toothed, lobed, or with spines, or the leaves are smoothed edged um, with an occasional tooth. So uh, as it tells you, because it kind of gives you the answer, the leaves are toothed or lobed, um, and they do have spines on the edges. You can see that uh, in this picture. So 17A, um, the next step would be proceed to item 21 on the dichotomous key. Uh, item 21 describes the size of the leaf, and it's very specific, so less than 20 centimeters wide, versus 20 to 30 centimeters wide. Um, there's also a description on the bark that the older bark flakes off, revealing lighter um, layers underneath. So um, as you look at these two, you can see that, as it gives you the answer, uh, 21A is not correct because the leaf is less than 20 centimeters when you're measuring it with this ruler. So 21B is correct. So you'd go to item 22 on the dichotomous key. 
Um, so 22, we have A and B. The leaves are narrow versus the leaves are wider. Um, for the very narrow ones, it says that at least five times as long as they are broad, um, which clearly based off of this leaf, this leaf is not five times longer than it is broad. So the leaves are wider. They're less than five times as long as broad. As broad. So that is the correct answer, 22B. So then you go to item 23. And then 23 states that the leaves are either star-shaped or not star-shaped. So in this example, the leaves are not star-shaped. Um, so you would go to item 24 on the dichotomous key. Um, leaves are triangular or they are not triangular. Um, these are not triangular, so 24B would be correct, and you go to item 25. And then we do have an acorn, um, so 25B is the next step, and that is correct. So you go to item 26, and we've got either clefts in the margin with an ending at a sharp point, which is correct, or lobes without points. And so the correct answer for this is um, the Schumard's oak. Uh, for this particular example. So in your uh, lab handout, um, I believe that's given to you as the specimen one. So what you're going to do is you're going to write down all of the key steps as you go through them. And then when you get to the end, you'll have the scientific name and the common name. So let's look at the next example. Um, looking at these pictures, you're going to try to figure out what this plant is. Okay, so have your lab manual open and let's look at the very first one. The very first choice is the leaves. Are the leaves broad and flat um, or are they needle-like or scale-like? Well, this leaf is broad and flat, um, so that would be 1A would be the correct choice for that first step. So on your lab handout, you would write 1A as your first step. And then um, on your dichotomous key, you'll see that 1A leads to question 4. So question four says leaves are alternately arranged, or 4B, leaves are oppositely arranged. Well, let's look down here again. Um, just like the previous one, the leaves alternate. So you've got, um, instead of being parallel, they kind of alternate on this, this branch. So if they're alternately arranged on the main stem, that is 4A. So you'd write down 4A is the next step. And then 4A leads you to number 8 in your dichotomous key. So number 8, 8A is that the leaves are simple. 8B is that the leaves are compound. So looking at these, 8A, the leaves are simple. These are simple leaves, they are not compound. So on your uh, lab exercise, you'd put 8A as the next step. All right, so 8A leads us to number 17 in your dichotomous key, which is on the next page. 17A is that the leaves are toothed. 17B is that the leaves are smooth. Um, this is a very smooth uh, edge to this leaf, so the correct answer would be 17B. So let's put that on our handout. All right, so 17B, so this is kind of our first time that we've diverged from specimen one, um, 17B. So in your dichotomous key, 17B leads you to step 18. Uh, 18A is that the leaves are large, 15 to 25 centimeters long. 18B is that the leaves are smaller than 15 centimeters in length. So let's look down here, each of these increments is a centimeter. Um, and that looks like it's going to be that the leaves are smaller than 15 centimeters, okay? So if they're smaller than 15 centimeters, that will be 18B. All right, so that's the next step on the key. Uh, 18B leads you to question our step 19 on the key. Uh, 19A says there are thorns at the base of the leaves. Uh, 19B is that there are no thorns. Well, I don't see any thorns on here, so that would be 19B would be the correct choice. All right. 19B leads you to step 20 in your key. 
So 20A describes a leaf that is four to centimeters long with the smooth margins. The flowers are pink, white, or purple clusters. 20B says the leaves are heart-shaped. Um, the flowers are pink and pea-like, and they open before the leaves in the spring. And in this example, um, this leaf is heart-shaped, and uh, it is about 18 to 12 centimeters long, so it's, it's a little bit bigger than the 20A. Um, the flowers are pink, and they are kind of pea-like, so the correct answer there would be 20B. All right, and we know that 20B, that gives us our answer, um, which is the Eastern Red Blood, Red, sorry, Red Bud, not Red Blood, Red Bud. And so we got the scientific name, and Eastern Red Bud. Okay, so that's how you work through the key, and that's kind of how you fill in um, the, the lab exercise as you go. You should get all different uh, trees, so make sure you're not getting um, the same tree over and over. They should all be different, and make sure you fill in the scientific name, uh, and then you can look up the, the common name um, based off of that scientific name. That should be pretty easy to find. That's on um, page 814 in your lab uh, manual.